Uganda Export Promotion Board is maintaining that the neighboring markets are still a catalyst for the recovery of the country's foreign exchange inflows that have since dropped by nearly $200 million. And as well, uh, hit uh, $1 billion uh, because, because they are near us, because their culture is the same as our culture, because some were living here and eating the same food and drinking the same beers. And so uh, we, we are happy that uh, that market has come. And of course, it is in our target. We have targeted it for the next five years, not only South Sudan, but the entire regional market. Under the new export strategy, the agency says it will deploy 2 billion shillings in the forthcoming financial year towards tightening presence of Ugandan goods in the EAC market. And one of the ways to increase exports is to formalize, to encourage formalization. The challenge is that you find some exports that cannot be accounted for in excess. Figures from the private sector, the actual players, think that at, at, at 2 million metric tons are exported informally. But even then, a cross-section of players argue that for the case of agricultural produce, most often exported raw, there is need to sort out the primary concerns of traceability. Once you organize the farmers, build credible quality management systems that are traceable or and where tracking can be done, uh, all farmers are registered, they have been trained, they understand, they have been certified, then the selling is the easiest part because the demand is more than what we can supply. Moses Mwanga, the chief executive officer of the National Organic Agricultural Movement, says prioritizing both the conventional and organic subsectors by government must be part of the agricultural export strategy enhancement. There is not sufficient intervention from the state as a strategic area. And the, I think if we can address this as a country, uh, we will be able to explore much organic markets uh, and, uh, than we are doing now. Reina Ojun, NTV Business.